Mars where you have Aries in your astral chart. All the information you're looking for is in the description box down below. And thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. If you have a personal reading information, is in the description box down below next to the button. All right. What is Aries' biggest hidden desire? Okay. You have the Rider, the number one, the Nine of Cups, Pisces and Jupiter. Messenger, movement, message, travel, news, visitor, delivery, goals, green light, progress, and full speed ahead. Okay, so your biggest hidden desire is to send a message, okay? This is also something that you do suddenly, but it was also planned because it has Gemini, Aries, Virgo, and Scorpio energy to it. So... It's like you have all the tools necessary to connect to somebody that you view as everything that you seek for in a partner. Everything that you would want in your ideal partner. And this can also be about career, right? You really want a job or a career, you get that career. Okay, you could be into sales or communications or... You could even be into um, magic for some of you, philosophy, psychology, spirituality, prisons, institutions, and asylums, health, um, finance, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, the military, the government, police force. You can work with children or sports, but you're sending a message. If this is love, you are sending a message to somebody that is your dream partner. My candles are flickering. Um, is your ideal partner. Okay. It was planned and I feel like you just say, okay, it's almost like when the green light goes, right? Or um, I was actually watching today the 4x4 four four on the, in the Olympics for the women. It's like when the gun went off. Um, it's like, go, that's the green light. It's the green light. The Empress, I love it, Taurus Libra. That's beautiful, Taurus Libra energy. The Empress, that's your ideal partner. That is your ideal partner or ideal like dream, you know, lover. Okay, yeah, it's, it's completely clear to you. Completely clear to you. This is coming from your heart. Okay. There's also um, an addiction as well. All right, and the lovers. Okay. <laughs> Hidden energy is the lover okay and the gemini energy it's in reverse okay you also have the emperor so now we have counterparts out here we have counterparts so you have the empress taurus libra seven of cups venus and scorpio you have the hangman, Pisces, Four of Cups, Moon, and Cancer. Some of you also have Sagittarius in your chart. And you have the Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sagittarius. Um, Six of Cups, Sun, and Scorpio. Okay. You also have High Priestess. Okay. So you have Moon and Virgo. You also have... Uh, hidden energy is Emperor and the Lovers, Gemini. Okay. So you're not online dating. If you're this Empress, you're not online dating. There's a lot of people romantically interested in you, but you're taking very good care of yourself. You own your own business. Okay, you're extremely fertile. You are also an amazing mother. 
This is also working from home. You work from home. It's very fertile. I see deers and I see doves and pomegranates. It's very Persephone energy. There's a sense of um, innocence, like you've gone through a lot of pain in order to get to this point where you just now see all the beauty and everything that you've encountered, Aries. And you have the Seven of Cups, which is also saying you're not confused. So rather you're in love and you're trying to make a decision on what is best for you, who is best for you. It is honesty. What does that mean? When you're being honest with yourself and you're vibrating on that energy and that level, what you want is somebody who's honest. What you want is somebody who's going to tell you the truth, even if it may not be what you want to hear. What you want is somebody who respects your boundaries. What you want is somebody who has unconditional love of self and the universe. This is somebody who has compassion, kindness, and empathy. They do not put others down. This is also um, the birth of a business. The, the Someone could be pregnant. Okay? If you are in a relationship, your partner, they may have um, a lot of jealousy. If you're in a relationship, your partner is very jealous, very competitive about work. They live above their means. It's, it's like um, ch champagne lifestyle, lemonade budget. They live above their means. There's bankruptcy going on if you're in a relationship. There's some kind of bankruptcy happening. And dropping out. They're dropping out or they, they're not faithful to the commitment or the relationship or they don't want to be. They don't want to be, okay? There's also theft going on, okay? So, and refusing to learn the lesson. You have, um, I also see addiction and you are no longer being stagnant. You're moving towards what you want. You're realizing um, you've been busying yourself. In the future, what you're going to realize is you've been busying yourself from new love. New love is coming in and is being offered to you. It's an offer you like. It's from someone very passionate, very transformative, very unique. I feel like somebody may do this, um, whoever it is, like they, they indulge in, in things. So they may indulge in, um, this can be like, they, they indulge in something, they have an indulgence. That could be anything though. You can indulge in just about anything that they indulge. And they give this offer of love that you really want. And there is video chat and FaceTime, um, some type of, you can see them, like, there is video chatting. Mercury and Sagittarius and Six of Cups, Sun and Scorpio. You're reuniting with someone from the past. You're reuniting from someone you knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. You may be spending time with your children. You may be communicating to your children. Um, whoever you're video chatting with, they are from, like, a different country, different state. They're very far away. I feel like your philosophy and psychological uh, belief is actually changing in how you communicate to your colleagues, your schoolmates, your siblings, your friends, and work. This is messages of love going back and forth. So it's a very long conversation and it reunites almost like remembering who you are. You see how she's opening up like a butterfly? It's like remembering who you are. It's like completion. It's like, it's just like completion. This is a harmonious relationship. It's bliss. You also have high priestess, which represents if you're in a relationship, they, uh, you may have Aries in your moon, Aries in your Neptune, Aries in your Jupiter, or Aries in your Mercury. Or you have Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius, or Virgo in your Mars. This is wanting to be chased, not listening to one's intuition. Also, being okay with um, not knowing yourself, cheating in a relationship, 
okay? Um, not wanting to commit. Being okay with uh, someone not committing to you and you just being like a, uh, what's it called? Like a mistress. That's exactly what it is, like a mistress. Um, if you're in a relationship, it's like you're in a relationship, but there is other people outside of that relationship. You know that there's better love offers for you. You know um, that there's a lot of jealousy in the relationship because there's multiple lovers. It's not watched over from heaven. It's watched, it, it, it's almost like it's, um, it's the exact opposite of love, which is evil. This is not wanting to make a decision between lovers. And remember, if you're an option, that means you will never be the decision and you will never be a priority. Why would somebody respect you and you don't even respect yourself? You're not giving them a reason to do it, so why should they? Why should they respect you and you don't even, you don't even respect you? Why should I see you as somebody I want to be in a relationship and a commitment and a connection with and you don't even respect yourself enough to believe that you deserve a real connection and relationship. A real relationship does not have other people, does not have other lovers, does not have the type of mentality, does not have jealousy, does not have a sense of, oh, I own somebody. The truth is, real love is knowing that you want the person you love to be happy, to experience love and joy and bliss, even if it's not with you. That's love. And that means you go and you move forward and you allow yourself to be open to new possibilities and new love, new love opportunities, right? From people that maybe you've known in other lifetimes and now you're meeting them in this lifetime or you knew them from elementary school, middle school, high school, or college. If this is a relationship though, it's like uh, you want to be chased by your significant other and there's a lack of respect for oneself. Like you always want to be catered to, to the point where um, you're willing to cheat or step outside of the relationship. There's also a lot of competitiveness, separating of finances. Um, if this has been like a relationship and you post each other, it's going to be short-lived where you don't want to even see that person anymore. You don't want to be connected to that person anymore. And when you take them down, it's like everybody's asking what happened. Da, 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 and it's a scandal. Uh, this is like a, a one-hit wonder. Yeah, someone's been... It, okay, there's a breakup. If you have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your Mars... Or you have Aries in your moon, Aries in your Neptune, Aries in your Pluto, okay? Um, or you have Sagittarius in your Mars, or you may even have um, Aries in your Jupiter. There's a breakup. Or if someone's pregnant, they're having a girl when they really wanted a boy. It's like accepting that this is not what's meant to be and you really don't want to be in it. There's Taurus energy here. It's the truth, though. I feel like someone's telling the truth. It's just not what their partner wants to hear. That, oh, you don't want to be with me, or um, we're in a relationship and a commitment that you really don't even want to be in, Taurus energy. This can also be like um, religious differences, or, you know, one person believes in monogamy, the other person believes in polygamy. Or it's completely non-traditional. You could be heading into a brand new, non-traditional relationship. Something that is done differently. Um, but what I'm seeing is if this is a relationship or a commitment, you're in a relationship, but you don't even want to be in it. You're in a constitution, institution, foundation, church, service you don't want to be in. And it's not run ethically. You may have Venus in Aries, or you have Aries in your... Uh, or you have like Taurus in your Mars, okay? But this is accepting that something's not meant to be. A lot of people are gossiping as well about this situation. This is about, there's no, it, it's almost like uh, if this is a relationship, somebody does something that's unforgivable. Somebody's doing something that's unforgivable um, or they've done that. It, it's almost like realizing it's just not meant to be. It's out of your control and this was not meant for you. It's, there is no acceptance in the relationship or the commitment. There is no acceptance. And that's why it's ending. 
okay? This is also realizing that real relationship and commitment does not stem from unrequited love, lack of love for self, um, judging others, slandering others. It doesn't come from that. A real relationship stems from you loving yourself, being able to forgive, being able to forgive, being able to accept the now, and having your own sense of belief and wisdom about what works for you may work differently for another person. That does not mean that they're any less than or even better than. A real man and a real woman knows they're in competition with no one. Okay, they're not better than anyone. They're not less than anyone. At all. They're in competition with absolutely nobody. Therefore, they always win at life. Now, you get rid of somebody. A lot of you are getting rid of a Gemini. Someone could have a Mercury in Aries or Gemini in their Mars or Gemini in their Pluto, Scorpio in their Mercury. You're getting rid of somebody. You're getting rid of them because there's too much jealousy in the relationship. Or there's multiple lovers involved and it is draining. It, it literally drains you spiritually. It drains you um, emotionally. Makes you indulge. It makes you um, want to escape. And the more you're in it, this is happening in the next 11 days. You're breaking up with somebody or they are breaking up with you. There's a breakup though. The relationship is ending. Because it's built off of not loving yourself. It's built off of staying in things, um, staying in careers, jobs, locations, love, relationships, partnerships, friendships, whatever it is. Staying in it only because you're not listening to your intuition and it's, it fulfills a sense of validation of what you don't know about you. It's like trying to find your identity in a connection, trying to find your identity in a relationship, trying to find your identity in something that is not meant to be and is unrequited and you don't even want to be in it. Basically, and because of that, there's an emperor that comes in. Aries, Scorpio, somebody who means business. This is someone who does want a relationship. This is somebody who is very mature, very direct with you about what they want. They may work in the esoteric, the occult, magic, finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money, children, sports. They could be in a high position of authority, head of their family, and you could be ahead of your family as well. Okay? This is also somebody you will end up marrying, for some of you I'm also seeing. A lot of you are not um, going to be with your... Uh, what's my call? The father of your your children. You're not going to be with them because there's something else for you. Venus and Cancer could be Leo, the Two of Cups. It's emotionally intelligent and it feels right for you. This is like you can be friends and lovers. Somebody also has mental illness because I saw the I'm seeing the Moon in Aquarius. I'm also seeing um, somebody had, like, if you're in a relationship, there's a lot of emotional manipulation, addiction, and your significant other cannot get pregnant. They're, like, infertile, or they have emotional and mental illness. They have Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Mars, okay? Um, or they have Aries in their Mercury. Aries in their moon, Aries in their Neptune, um, Aries in their Pluto. But Queen of Cups is in reverse, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, because I saw the Seven of Swords as well. Yeah, it's, it's not for you. The Queen of Cups in reverse is, uh, if you have a significant other, they're cheating on you. They're cheating, rather you know it or not. Which is why this is ending. They're not emotionally available, they're emotionally bankrupt. Meaning they're, they have so many different issues that you can't, you can't fix that. And it's not your responsibility to fix that either. It's just not, it's, it's ignoring of the inner child. Um, 
there's abuse going on, and it could be man or woman abusing their partner. That's what is coming out, okay. There's so much drama if there is a relationship. There's just so much drama. Um, I feel like it's extremely overly emotional. Like someone could just burst. This is the type of person to burst into tears at the drop of a dime to manipulate their partner. There's a lot of drama. It's just it's so much drama. What's the hidden truth of Aries? Soul. I keep seeing your name everywhere. So, if, you, if you're in a relationship, your, your partner or your spouse is also very codependent on you. Um, very clingy and jealous. Extremely jealous. Very competitive with you in everything. And that could be like, okay, who has more people attracted to them? That type of thing. That, that's not even something you should be thinking about. That's the way this person thinks. Um, who has a better job? That's not a way you should be thinking because the truth is we both have different talents that work in different ways. Uh, this can be like, oh, who has a better, um, who has uh, more people interested in them? Um, is very codependent and insecure, very insecure. They could work with prisons, institutions, and asylums, the military, the government, police force, Finances, taxes, loans, assets, other people's money. Um, this can even symbolize working with like death. Okay, could work with death. Um, esoteric, occult, magic, um, realty. Okay, there's no stronger love in this world than ours. If you are leaving behind a relationship, this happens in the next 11 days. But it's easier for you to leave because you know your value. And you know and you trust that the universe will send you, you know, what is meant for you romantically. Even if you are getting rid of a relationship that is just not working in any way, shape, or form. I'm in love with the way you smile and how you look right before you laugh. Remember to always do what you feel is best for you. Okay? Um... I'm seeing a message is coming in or messages. I feel like you're going to FaceTime somebody, but there's also something really shocking you find out in the next 11 days. Somebody tells you like, and this is like someone's single. Someone comes towards you and they're single. Okay. So this could be anybody. This could be someone that you don't even know. And they're like, oh, you know, like, um, I got out of a relationship. I've been, uh, basically moving towards what's right for me and allowing um, a connection or a relationship to build over time because it does take healing when you let go of a situation that was just really toxic that was very manipulative somebody gets caught lying cheating stealing or thieving and they take back a proposal from somebody they take back their if you propose to somebody you're taking it back you're taking it back um because there is so much drama. There's drama, there's manipulation, um, jealousy, and somebody has a secret love, and that's coming out too. Yeah, there's a lot of emotional manipulation. You're okay with going your own way. And you realize that having dual loyalty to two people or uh, allowing your heart to lie with one person and lie with another means that there is no emotional availability in the relationship or the commitment anyways which means if you psychologically it's been proven that if you are thinking of someone else and you're in a relationship you're not in love with that person you're just not because real love would mean that that person is the only person that you want to be thinking about so if you're getting out of a relationship and a commitment you're taking the time to reflect to heal to clear out whoever's energy that was because they are abusive, unfortunately. And what you're doing is you already have your eyes set on somebody else. They said, and I've, I've heard this before and it's very true, it's easier for you to leave when you already know where you want to go or who you're interested in. 
when you are faithful to a relationship and you don't know, right? Like you, you, you're not even thinking of other people, you're focused on the person you're with, then you try to fight for the relationship no matter how emotionally manipulative or codependent or rude or um, revengeful somebody is. You keep trying to make it work and keep trying to make it work. And eventually you realize, oh, I have to love myself first, that I don't deserve to be in an abusive relationship or commitment or connection. That's what's happening here. Because the truth is, rather you're a man or a woman, you don't want somebody who would be in a relationship and cheat on their partner. Because if they will cheat on their partner, they'll cheat on you too. This is talking about an evolved state of mind. Who is coming towards you is somebody who is single. And they are, they don't have extra parties connected to them. Um, someone is like, it, this is like an abusive relationship. Someone's got, it's like, someone's also looking through someone's stuff. They're looking through their computers. They're looking through their websites. They're looking through their social media. They're looking through their technology, their phone, their messages their history, their records, they're looking through all of that. They're, it's like stalking. It's like they're just looking through all of it. And they find something because the moon in Aquarius energy, the seven of swords is in reverse. They find what they're looking for or somebody just comes clean and says, look, I am cheating, I am lying or I am stealing from you. And they don't care. This is a very, uh, they don't care. They don't care. Um, it's very selfish. It's very selfish, okay? Um, you may be finding this out through this reading, and then, like, you go, you know, like, it's almost, it's also like if you're in a relationship, you keep trying to look at all the positives of the relationship. And you're realizing uh, the negatives outweigh the positives because your, your partner's cheating on you. And then they sort of turn it around on you so that you chase them. It's intentional. There's also a problem with the fact that if you're in a relationship, your partner cannot get pregnant, whether you know that or not. They're not fertile or spiritually like that's blocked. They could be somebody who can possibly, you know, get pregnant, but it's not going to happen with you. Because it's abusive. Queen of Cups in reverse. It, it, it's like spirit doesn't want that to happen or something. This is also promiscuity and cheating. Uh, it's overly emotional. Extremely overly emotional. And it's manipulative, unfortunately. I see a lot of you are realizing you're going to have to get rid of a lover. So, but it's like once you've found your own self-love, you know where you want to go. And so you get that. Say you've always had an idea of what type of partner you want. You do get that. Because you decide to love yourself. You get the relationship you want. It just doesn't come the way you thought. If you've invested money, time, energy, and effort into a relationship, a commitment, a job, a career, whatever, you're leaving it behind. You're leaving it because it doesn't make you happy. And because of that, you get real love. And it's the love within yourself and a love that another individual understands. You guys are on the same page. This all happens in the next 11 days. I really hope you know you do what is best for you. What makes you happy? Then that's the right thing to do. And so for some of you, if you feel like, um, you know, you want to go after your happiness, you're realizing you cannot continuously think about, okay, well, what's going to happen to this person I'm leaving behind in the relationship or this company or this career? What's going to happen if I leave? You got to just go. And that's what you're doing. You're just going. Because you're in control of you. You're not in control of anybody else. And love is not control anyways. 
So what are the blockages of each lifetime that Aries is facing? So you rule, it's core rulership with Scorpio and you have Plutus, wealth, which is Pluto. This is uh, the cornucopia here. Even lottery winners continue to buy tickets, proving that all of us would appreciate a little windfall now and again. The ancient Greeks would appeal to kindly Plutus. Their god of wealth was always depicted with a large overflowing cornucopia, a horn of plenty. We are told that Zeus removed the sight of Plutus so that he could, or so that he would distribute his gifts blindly without any regard for appearance. And those who came across him and flung open their doors would have great wealth bestowed upon them. Many of us unconsciously limit our wealth by having a poor mental image of how much we think we are worth. Or we absorbed early teachings that frowned on wealth. In this way, we prevent the arrival of the universal flow of abundance at our door. It is now time to open your heart to the infinite wealth of Plutus without fear or guilt. Be open to receiving money in any way it wants to find you, for it helps no one if you are poor. So I see you are getting exactly what you want in your career. And if you're single, you are getting exactly what you want in love. And... It's like someone's moving extremely fast to communicate. Extremely fast. You don't even see this coming. They have they want to do this the right way. They want to do this in a, in a fair and balanced manner. This has been your reading, Aries. And if you like the personal reading information, it's in the description box down below. Next to the butterfly, I'll say, do what's best for you, always. Thank you.